recommend, just get some paper, throw a couple staples on it, get a big old Sharpie and it, <laughs> put drawing on it. Maybe even put the date so you can watch progress. You will make progress. Anyone ever lay tile more than once and by the time they've gotten to that other part of the house, you look and all of a sudden like that part of the house is nice and straight and you look behind you and you wonder if you had you know, rickets or something. And then just draw everything. If you're on the phone, just move your hand around with a pencil. Don't even try to figure out what it is you're drawing. Don't prejudge it. That's one of the most important things you could possibly do. Don't prejudge it. Don't analyze it. How many of you sit down that play an instrument and go, OK, this has to sound exactly like Eddie Van Halen's eruption or I'm a total failure as a human being? And that's why you're in sales. <laughs> What's that? No, but I can kind of tell. <laughs> and here, most people hate this. How many of you have ever said this? Let me just go back before it. Oops. Uh, you probably already read it, but. Anybody here ever say, look, I appreciate what you're saying, but you just don't understand. I'm a perfectionist. Anyone ever call themselves a perfectionist? Be honest. Who here has ever called themselves a perfectionist? Please read the following. This is what I call the anti-perfectionist creed. Because saying you're a perfectionist is just, pardon my French, but it's just horseshit for insecurity. Just say, instead of saying, I am a perfectionist, say, I am a deeply insecure person who is way too scared to put my stuff and my chips on a public table where others will surely examine all that I am as a person with the same intensity of unrealistic expectations that I do. And if I don't pretend to exist at a higher level than others, then my entire value as a person will diminish and I will be viewed 